Hey, how's it going everyone? In this video, we're gonna take a look at how we can do cross-browser testing with Selenide. So one of the good things with using Selenide is that cross-browser testing comes pre-built. You do not have to do any configuration to set that up. The only prerequisite that is required to set up cross-browser testing with Selenide is that you need to have Maven installed in your machine. If you have Maven installed, the only thing you need to do is run the Maven command using the browser as the parameter and specify which browser you want to run your test on. For example, for running test on Firefox, you would just do selenade the browser and then pass in the Firefox browser as the parameter. Now, for those of you guys that do not have Maven installed, let me just show you how you can do that. And then we're going to take a look at how we can run this Maven command. So I'm over here on the Apache Maven project. I'm going to add the link for this in the description below. Over here, you can find these different binaries, which you can download to set up Maven project with. But if you're using Mac OS, there's an easier way you can set it up. So I'm going to add the link for this in the description below, but all you have to do is simply run brew install maven and then it will go ahead and install maven for you. Then you can just do maven dash dash version and it will print out the maven version for you. However, for Windows, it's a little bit complicated because you have to go ahead and first make sure you have JDK and Java home setup. And once you have that setup, you have to go ahead and download the Apache maven zip project. You will then unzip it and then you're going to add the maven home into your system variable. So basically go into the environment variables over there you add in your maven home you add in your path wherever you installed it once that is done you also have to add the maven home variable to the path environment variable as well and then finally you can do your verification which is using maven version and it should print out maven version for you so the link for both of this for both mac os and windows will be in the description below so make sure you check it out but once you have finally installed Maven, you have to go ahead and make sure that you can run the Maven command to run your test on different browsers. So let's take a look at how we can do it. So for that, I'm going to open up IntelliJ. So I'm over here on IntelliJ and here to verify that you have Maven installed, simply just do MVN and do dash version. It should print out the Maven version for you. So there you go. In my case, you can see the Maven version is 3.8.5 and I can also see the maven home the path for that is over here So maven is already installed that means I can now go ahead and run the command to run the test on different browsers So I'm gonna do that So the command we're gonna use is mvn which is the maven command I'm gonna do test since we are running this test on a specific browser Then I'm gonna add the flag dash t which is defining the flag that we are running so in this case, the flag that I'm running is selenide.browser. So I'm saying, hey, run the test on this particular browser, and then I can just specify the browser. So I'll say, let's say Firefox here. And then I'm going to add in another flag, which is going to be dash D. And this time I will say which test I want to run. So here, for example, I have this test home test. So that's the one that I want to run. So I can just do home test. So it's going to run the file, which is right here, home test, and it's going to execute this particular part right here. Okay, so this looks good. Let me hit enter and see whether this would work. All right, there you go. So it just opened up Firefox for me. This is the Firefox browser. And it's gonna go ahead, open up my website, verify all through the flows, and then it's gonna finally close that up. So there you go, it just said build success. So it actually went ahead and ran the test on Firefox, and we can actually verify it if I just scroll up. And there you go, this is where it was running the test, which was Gecko driver. So Gecko driver is the driver for Firefox. So that's how easy it is to run your test on different browsers with Selenate. Everything comes pre-built, so you do not have to do any configuration, unlike using Selenium with Java where you have to go ahead and set up the driver, set up all the different cross-browser configuration, and then be able to run your test on that particular browser. Here, you do not have to do any configuration, simply make sure you have Maven installed, and that's also because you're just using Maven to run your test on. But for the cross-browser testing part, there's nothing specific you need to do to make sure your test runs on different browser. Everything is already pre-installed. So now, for example, I need to run the same thing on Safari. I can do the same thing. Instead of Firefox, I will just add in the flag for Safari. 
One thing that I did have to make sure when I was specifying Safari here is to enable browser automation. That wasn't enabled already by default in Safari, so I had to add that in using the develop option. If you want to learn more about that, let me know in the comments below and I can create a video on that. So let me run the test on Safari to make sure this works. There you go. So it just opened up Safari this time. And it's running the test on Safari. So there you go. This time the test successfully passed once again and we ran the test on Safari browser. So with this Maven command, you can also pass in additional flags, such as if you want to run your test in headless browser, you can also do that. So in this case, Safari doesn't support headless browser. So I'm going to change this to Firefox. And then I'm going to do dash D and then say selenide.headless equals to true. So this way it will run the Firefox browser in the headless mode. So there you go, it's trying to run the test, but it hasn't opened up any browser so far. And look at that, it said test successfully passed, but it didn't open up any browser for us because we were running it in the headless mode. So that's how easy it is once again, guys, to run tests in different browsers using Selenide. If you have seen other Selenide videos, you would know that how easy it is to set up tests as well as run and configure tests with Selenide. So that's it for this video guys. If you'd like to support my work, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit that like button on this video. You could also support me by sharing this video with others. Thanks for watching. I will see you all in the next one.